Hello, Blossom community. My apologies for my delayed video. You know, it's a bit of a crazy week. And so I just honestly completely forgot to record this this morning and send it out. So get a delayed Monday video. I hope everybody's off to a great week. Um, we have a really exciting week here at Blossom. Um, if for those of you who don't know, this upcoming Saturday is our annual fundraiser very exciting so it's gonna be at the Cedarburg Cultural Center if you can believe it or not we've actually sold out of all of our tables um, <clears throat> so there are still tickets available for single seats for individuals as well as for individuals in intellectual and developmental disabilities so if you haven't gotten tickets and want to come please do we also are looking for a couple more volunteers maybe like five or six so if you haven't gotten tickets and would like to volunteer please reach out to me at my email director at blossom and mercantile.com um, and if you have gotten tickets just stay tuned for all the updates one of the biggest things that will be great and kind of um improve check-in is if everybody is registered with their bid numbers for the auction so we'll get you guys checked in when you guys arrive you don't have to worry about that really we're just encouraging everybody to please check in for the auction that will also be your bid number for the evening you may even get like a second video if you're attending the event and i'll get you guys all that information later this week stay tuned but in the meantime, it's all business for Blossom. We still have a lot going on. Today we have a group, actually, as we speak, that's at Linden Sculpture Garden, which is very exciting. Major props to a couple of our volunteers stepping up to take everybody as I am out of town, as you can see by my environment. Um, it's not my typical backdrop. I'm at my friend's house. I'm actually in Toronto, but I will be back way before the event, so don't you guys fret. Um, so after that, we have um, a couple of other things going on. On Thursday, it looks like we have our watering club, which is very exciting. We are going to BSG Coffee and Cocktails Lounge. So that is where the old N7 coffee used to be in Grafton. If you haven't signed up, please feel free to join 930 to 1130. It's going to be fantastic. Michaela is going to be there with you guys. Coffee, pastries, breakfast, bring your own money. It'll be a great time. We also have Pink Umbrella classes starting. So Pink Umbrella started as a collaborative program with us. It's technically still one of our Blossom Bridges program as we advocate for it and promote it, um, as we really want to keep it in Cedarburg or in Ozaki County. So that's going to be starting this Wednesday night if you signed up for that. Um, and then last but not least, um, before we wrap up the week, um, earlier in the morning, there's actually a SoFit disc golf event. So for those of you who get involved with SoFit, there's a disc golf event in the morning, um, which is great because for those of you who also are coming to the event at night, you'll be able to do both. Um, so if you need to get any information on that, Jenny Hone is going to be the person or Tammy Natali. Um, if you don't know how to get in touch with them, I am happy, happy, happy to connect you with them. So reach out to me. Um, oh my goodness, moving into Sunday before I send out my next Monday info session, we do have our next upcoming Sunshine Winery activity. So that's going to be this Sunday at three o'clock. Um, it's going to be bingo at Sunshine Winery. And then we did last week move our Hawaii meeting to this upcoming Sunday. So Sunday, October 13th in the evening, we'll have our last meeting before we go to Hawaii, which is very exciting. Um, and we will talk about all logistics, all fun things logistics. So in the meantime, um, I really hope you guys have a great week. Um, stay out of trouble. Life is crazy these days, and I know we're all very busy. So we're really, really grateful for those of you who are able to continue to support us and continue to join in our activities, continue to volunteer. The couple of action items to remember is if you haven't gotten your tickets, go and grab those. And if you also know or are interested in volunteering, please reach out to me. Um, we need maybe, like I said, five or six more people to just kind of round out the evening on Saturday. Um, but otherwise, we're very excited to see you guys all this week in upcoming activities. And I hope you all are safe and have a great week.